If you're like me, you have a variety of HDMI cables and adapters. In my garage makerspace, the screen has a right angle adapter so it can go close to the wall. And in our living room, the soundbar also plugs into a right angle adapter so it can easily go against the wall. But for my custom desk build, the touchscreen in the center of the dashboard needs the thinnest cable possible so I get maximum space on the left hand side. The solution involves the thinnest HDMI cable I've ever seen, which also happens to work with USB cables. FPV drones. Bet you weren't expecting that, were ya? But uh, I reckon it was about five years ago, I was watching a Becky and Chris vid, and Chris was building a lightweight drone. And a regular HDMI cable is too thick for clearances, and the plastic is too heavy. Thankfully, I remembered this and ordered a bunch of parts intended for drones to make my cable. This ribbon cable has the wires side by side, making it incredibly thin. What's cool is I can plug this ribbon cable into a header on a circuit board with a HDMI plug. What's super cool is that when I was shopping online, I could buy any male or female HDMI plug. So the touchscreen requires a male mini HDMI tip. To free up space, this needs a right angled bend, which has to bend up from the plug. As you can see, the right angle either bends up or down or even left to right from the standard HDMI orientation. And so this has to be the thinnest tip I could get for the touchscreen end. As for the PC end, well, I could get a really long ribbon cable and run it all the way from the touchscreen through to the PC, but this ribbon is quite annoying to route because it only likes to bend one way. So instead, I could use a straight female HDMI tip turning this into more of an adapter and extension cable. Alrighty, moment of truth. Let's see. Uh, so the too good to be true catch is the specific modular tip model is only HDMI version 1.4. Seller says resolution's up to 1080p, which is fine for my little screen here. It's below that, but surprisingly... Oh, what if I just need to use a different HDMI cable from the graphics card? Oh my gosh! It actually it's found, it found the new screen. There's a, there's a tool in there. So if you're extending a cable, it probably also needs to be a HDMI 1.4 cable. Oh, look at that! Sick. If you need 4K support up to 144 Hertz, I have seen HDMI 2.1 options, but you can't remove the tips soldered onto the circuit board. Now, if you watched my last desk vid adding this Epoch display, you will remember that I used a right angle USB-C cable that was super thin to fit below the macro pad. I was curious if I could find modular USB connections too, and it would seem you can make your own mini, micro, and USB-C cables with right angles just don't expect high transfer speeds. For my screen, the pre-soldered right angle USB cable will be fine. It will simply extend the cable that was plugged in before. Now the downsides for using a ribbon cable like this is that they're fragile. They don't like being like moved around a lot. Plus this one in particular has no shielding. My desk has a lot of electronics shooting electromagnetic interference everywhere and I have no signal issues. It's completely fine. But if you have issues, you can get foil shielded cables for the modular HDMI version 1.4 variety. HDMI 2.1 versions that I've seen also have shielding on the wires. So hopefully one day you'll have a project that requires something like this and this video pops back into your mind like it did for me about five years later. Dude, that looks so clean. I'm so used to having like cables sticking out of the screen and that's just like nice. Now I've got to decide what to put on the left and right side of my touchscreen. And you've got to decide which of these two videos you're going to watch next. Thanks for watching. Thumbs it if you liked it. Sub it if you loved it. And I'll put a link in the description below to all of the cool custom cables I talked about today. See ya.